Swagman Software presents Importing data from Excel to Sage ACPAC Now let's take a look inside a typical ACPAC setup. First we'll go to the uh, customer module and uh, let's just review all the customers that are set up. If we go down the list uh, you'll notice here that we have no uh, entry for uh, AC01 uh, ACE uh, heating. Now let's go into the AR transactions and we'll open up a batch listing. What you'll see here that there's uh, no open batches and our end result is we're going to bring in uh, an invoice file into the batch. We pick the ACPAC CSV file and uh, yeah I guess I should connect a, uh, a destination file of where, where the information is going to go. Now let's review the, the, the source file, or the file that we're going to bring into ACPAC. It's got all the essential ingredients like invoice number, customer number, customer name, you know, date, uh, item description, quantities, prices, you name it. You notice we have a few where there's multi-lines within the transaction, and a few single-line transactions, as you can see here. and we have approximately uh, 67 uh, records altogether. Now within our import utility uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, point to uh, the source file and I'll search and uh, I'll pick that particular file and click on save. I better shut down the file before we import it and I save uh, the destination of this uh, particular file. Uh, next, we can invoke some business rules. Uh, some of our business rules are, uh, for instance, uh, not allowing to create new customers. Uh, that might be the job of the accounting department with the setup of special terms and so on. Uh, the other one might be, you know, uh, blocking the updating of any uh, new customer information. Uh, so whatever is in ACPAC is the uh, the master records and data coming in. Uh, it doesn't interfere with the records. Um, we have to tell that it's a multi-line flat file because we had multi, multiple uh, details uh, per invoice. Uh, and in our mapping here, uh, we say it's a CSV file that we're bringing in. Uh, there's one detail per line. And this is kind of uh, the brains behind the scenes here. We map what is the header information, you know, customer number, transaction date, um, next available batch number, um, that sort of information. And then we proceed to map the detail. And the detail is, you know, item number, quantity, price, and so on. Our next step in the process is uh, we simply uh, click on the next button and uh, import the data. It warns you to take a backup. And um, as you can see here, it's counting all the records that are being processed. Uh, under record number here, it shows you the uh, the invoice number uh, invoices being processed, and it'll go through every record till it's complete. Remember, we had a total of about uh, 67 altogether. Um, you can see this is fairly quick, and it says the import's complete. It'll show you that 67 records have been recorded for a total of five thousand dollars. Now, in our error log or exceptions log. It shows you the new customers created, called uh, Ace Heating. So we exit out of the screen, and uh, we uh, purge the error log. Now let's see the end result in ACPAC. If we open up the batch listing, you'll see we have a new uh, batch that's created. And it says the SSI import file by default, 67 records. We open up this batch, and you'll see uh, Ace Heating has been created as a customer. And if we go through, we can see that uh, there's uh, 67 uh, invoices that have been imported altogether. For more information about Swagman Software, you can call us at 1-877-792-4626 or visit us at our website at www.swagsys.com.